Hey, yeah, what's up, guys? So, this is Kiwi Lair Oblivion. We just did the Ripper Dock. We're still at his place, and we're going on to the ride to talk with Jackie. But before that, let's talk to our main Who's winning? Man. Who's Hernandez. Winning? You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now, every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this. Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... Okay, so I definitely thought I'd remember to come back to him and pay off my debt. How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Okay, so uh, let's look at our messages. Dang, Coach Fred. Let's look at Jackie's message. What's Jackie saying? Hello? Oh, was I calling him? My bad. I want to say open message. Alright, uh, what's taking so long? What about him? Hey, what if I told you that you could have some fun making uh, a little Eddie's in a single stroke? Fighting tournaments coming up. I think you've got what it takes. Licking you the cords of your opponent, money, and fame waiting. Uh, oh, and one more thing. Until the lockdown on Watson is lifted, you won't fight in any other districts. But don't worry. When things loosen up, you'll be the first to know. All right, a couple words about who you're going up against. Kabuki won't spoil this. Just come and see. Ar Aurora, Buck, Sixth Street Ganger, Real POS, Glenn, Caesar, Fist Like Fucking Hammers, Animal Club, Rhino, Woman's a Legend, Woman, Lays everyone flat. Okay, so uh, maybe next episode will be a side quest for Coach Fred. If y'all looking forward to that, let me know in the comment section. Definitely subscribe to my channel, and let's go on this cyberpunk ride. Let's go talk to Jackie. You know how it is, Jackie, Jack, Jack. Mm. Your hot chakra looks a little out of. I can release it for you, but you have guy. to watch out for negative Ooh. energy fields and avoid mean red. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Okay, we gotta meet with Dex. This dude over here enjoying life while I'm with the doc. Not to you, or rather. So, like, are Checking these them out? Yeah, oh, yeah? Can't even answer. So what happened? Oh. Did you die or something? V, listen. Yeah, I've got this delicate matter. It's why I'm... The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Oh, my. Stay 
Nintendo PS4. Oh. OG PS4 here dies, by the way. Sorry for all Yo, the Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ampling. DD. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Yeah. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. I don't even Corps don't this. deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving with that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. This brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shift, from one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. 
Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Yes, sir. Performance and nationals were awarded with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the city on the ramp and also to open up new opportunities. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, man. He's out to work. No one Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot. Military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. Chingon. Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Luis, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Chucky snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Uh, Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. My nose to the ground. Stick around. Yes, sir. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode, the ride. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh definitely subscribe. We're gonna look at the next mission the information on the next episode. Wait. You dishonorable oh, dog! Am I not supposed to be up? Guys, I have to move on. That fucking situation! Oh, shoot. Shoot, no, I'm dead. What are they doing? I want to use my new, my new toy. Oh, 
back. Give me everything. Yeah, I should, should I hide bodies and stuff? I don't know. Just get over there. I don't care about you. Mr. V just want to remind you what they want. Yes, I wanted this. Smart weapons require a smart link to unlock full potential of their targeting systems. To install one, be sure to visit your trusty uh, Ripper dog. Sign to visit him. Assign a grenade to combat gadget. Quit slot inventory so you can make an easy use of it. To it, where? Combat gadget. Quick slot. Okay, sure. Power weapons and you to control direction of bullet ricochets. You have to visit car pressure start rear and the trajectory generation more from the install. I have it installed. Lighter balance. Lighter. Fire, incendiary grenade, frag, flashbang. Maybe a flashbang would have been good. Arm a grenade by holding it and release the button, throw it, press triangle of disarm. That's our one. I was just trying to go up here and be able to fight there. How high could I go? Go to information. At 6 a.m. Oh well, so we could we got higher up. Dang. City design is awesome. Can we get high up on that? So I don't know. Why did I just find that we need something alerted? Oh shoot, I should have hit the bodies. And someone sent me a message. Alright, so this is gonna be the end of the video this episode let's see that's the Deshaun the head price Mr. V I just want to remind you again that Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in this around sum of 10,000 people right so when you're ready when you're there to take it off their hands don't let them try to shake you down as they're liable to do so Maelstrom being Maelstrom Bioship Info so this is Dexter okay uh, Mr. V, how about doing a little something, get those taste buds tingling, a biochip question is in the fact. Is in fact the so-called relic a Nova tier piece of tech catering to the top 1% supposedly the best life insurance money you can buy? You and I are going to be neck deep in euros or dollars. Alright, so yeah, um, I'm going to end the episode here. Definitely subscribe and we will see the information after.